Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about speed time graphs. So, speed time graphs. Well, speed time graphs can tell you a lot about an object's motion, whether it's at rest, moving at a constant speed, or moving with a changing speed. And here in our little uh, gr sketched graph, I've got speed on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. You can see whatever our object is, it's speeding up, then it's going at a constant speed, it's then slowing down, and then it's going at rest. So normally, instead of saying speeding up, we call that accelerating. Then we're going at a constant speed, and then slowing down, well, we call that decelerating. And deceleration is just a negative acceleration. Now, one thing that's useful about speed time graphs is that you can use them to find the distance traveled. And the area under a speed time graph is equal to the distance traveled. So for example, here, we're going at a constant speed of 30 meters per second, and we've been traveling at that speed for about 10 seconds. So the total distance that we would have traveled, well, that's the area of our rectangle there, which is 30 meters per second times 10 seconds. And we find we get 300 meters. Now, that's, it doesn't matter whether we're going at a constant speed or whether we're increasing our speed. In this case, in this case we're going from 0 meters per second and we're accelerating up to 30 meters per second uh, in 10 seconds. So the shape that we've got there is a triangle, so we're going to use uh, the area of a triangle, and that's a half times the base times the height. So a half times the base, well, the base in this case is 10 seconds, and the height, well, the maximum velocity reached uh, is 30, so we're going to say a half times 10 times 30, uh, which gives us 150 meters. Now this even uh, applies even if our acceleration, uh, sorry, if we're accelerating but we don't start at zero. Well one technique you can do is to split our shape here into two sections. So at the bottom there we've got a rectangle and at the top of, uh, double above our uh, above our uh, rectangle, we've got a triangle. And we can just work out the area of these two shapes, and that's going to be the total distance. So firstly, the area under the bottom there, well, that's 10 meters per second times 10 seconds, which is 100 meters. Uh, and at the top there, well, it's a triangle, and it's a half times 10 times 20. And remember, the reason it's 20, well, the height of the triangle, it's going from 10 meters per second on the right to 30 meters per second. So the difference there uh, between 10 and 30 is 20. So we've got 100 meters uh, from our triangle up there. And if we add the two up together, the total distance that we would have traveled in the 10 seconds here would have been 200 meters. Okay guys, well I hope you found that useful. Uh, bye for now.